Watashi wa Kita. And we're from Mori. And here we are in Japan. It's nice to be in Japan! So, these are our new costumes. My, my favorite part is this wee rock belt buckle here. Uh, it was really, really expensive to make. Uh, but it, it's kind of loose. It doesn't, it doesn't stay if I, if I, you know, if I, if my hands, it, it comes off. Which is kind of, which is kind of awkward. I don't know how to, how to be able to wear that live on stage because it always comes off. But other than that, it looks good. Yeah. There's just some stupid face on the man. Yeah. I don't know. Well, to be real, um, you know, it's, it's kind of obvious now we are in Japan, so I wrote my name. Well, actually, he wrote Yeah, actually, I wrote it. <clears throat> so, I'm kind of like this Japanese monster now. But then again, we don't understand Japanese, so it would, it would also say uh, asshole or yeah. something like that. We don't know. Right. We hope it says keep up, but, yeah. but uh, yeah, we never know. We cannot be sure. So, yeah. Uh, these are our ex roadies uh, our rotors here, roadies on the on the uh, on uh, here, and now they are behaving. They weren't behaving uh, on the Aracalypse tour. Now they are. Yeah. Oh, about the new album, uh, it's called Dead Ache. Uh, it's going to be out here in Japan October 29th. Uh, it's probably one of those albums that will change music history yeah. in the making. I think that is going to be the next, you know, how can, how can I put it? It's going to be the best album of the year, the name, the decade. It's going to be the best album of the decade, I think. Yeah, yeah. 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 Maybe, maybe in the whole rock and roll history. Yeah, yeah. probably. Because I've heard it already and, it, and it's so good that... It rocks. Oh yeah, God. it rocks. God damn. So, why is it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, the people behind the masks. Mm -hmm. said, okay, we, we have to say first that uh, what masks. Um, but uh, I think uh, we're pretty nice folk. Yeah. Good, good looking guys. And yeah. And probably the most good looking guys in the face of the planet. Yeah. You, you can say that, really. Yeah. I think, yeah. Let me think. Yeah. 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 I think uh, everyone's uh, everybody's everybody's so nice. Uh, we are really wise and clever. Um, uh, we have IQs, you know, probably the highest IQs of, of everyone in the human history. I mean, everybody in the bank. It's like the top five of most. But, but, most then, but then maybe if you count all five together, then we have like one hundred. Oh yeah, that's that's true. Yeah, we we all everybody has an IQ of fifty, <laughs> and um, well, basically you can. Uh, I think the personalities you see is kind of like kind of like who we are. Yeah. So we are we are like these stupid assholes. Yeah. Like, without the masks, all, yeah. also. So. Yeah. Yeah, and we we do have not one bit of sense of humor at all. Yeah. Uh, really boring. Goes, really, and uh, so you are actually lucky that we we left the three assholes at home because those are really pain in the ass people. So we, we wanted to travel just the two of us because we can't stand the rest of them. They have so hard personalities. The three of them. Yeah. Hopefully they don't see this. Yeah. <laughs> what if they do? Oh my God, we're in trouble. <laughs> They're gonna kick our asses. You know, will they? Huh? If Lodi would be selected as a mayor of Rock City, if we were Rock City, um, I think it would be a best, better place for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. There would be like free booze everywhere for everyone. Free pizzas. Or if you don't like pizzas, there wouldn't be no pizzas for you at all. Or booze. If you don't drink, there's, there would be no booze in sight. <laughs> but if you drink, there would be lots. Um, so well, lots of rock music everywhere. Yeah. So, I think if you want to live in hell, it's your it's your choice. But if you want want to have all the booze, all the pizzas you want, or none of that if you want, and all the good music all the time, and everything would be so so uh, perfect every single second, it would work for us. But uh, it's up to you. I don't know. 
to Alice Cooper and Kiss in, in New Zealand this year was kind of like a dream come true for us. And I guess that was the first time in a very long time that we were really nervous yeah. before the yeah. show because we were kind of, oh my God, if those big boys are watching. Yeah, it. and they actually were. Yeah. They, they, they actually were. Alice Cooper came uh, after, after his set and said, you know, you guys rock. And that was so cool. And then uh, uh, we met Kiss guys and the gene. Uh, before the show and uh, and also after the show and, and uh, yeah that was nerve wracking but that then again it was so good you know if you would have only added twisted sister on the bill basically then you would have the full <laughs> full uh, circle there but that, that that was so cool and we were actually wondering that like, what the fuck are we doing here because all the you know all the other bands are the, are, the, are the bands that are our idols you know so but um, yeah that was pretty Pretty awesome. And there were also Poison, Whitesnake and, and Ozzy was playing there the next day, so it was kind of like being, being a performer, but at the same time, like huge fan, you know, collecting autographs and, and taking pictures, yeah, and yeah. it was it was hell of yeah. two days. Yeah, and it was, and I, I, like, like usually we don't get that nervous before the show, but that day was so, you know, sweet. I was sweating all the time, and not just because I'm wearing a costume, but uh, I'm in jean. Accidentally, I bumped into Gene Simmons uh, behind the stage there during the day, and uh, and I and, and he came to me and said, "Hi, I'm Gene Simmons." And I said, "Hi, I'm Mr. Lord. And he said, "I know damn well who you are." Oh, <laughs> oh, yeah. So that was cool.